Ah, uh, Kiesel, what are you doing? Why? This is hard. Oh, I know why they're doing this. They're doing this because oh, it's kind of my idea. Here's, here's the deal. Kiesel guitars, if you don't know them, they're pretty awesome. I decided to build my own Kiesel guitar, and you can too. They offer premium, different premium options for your custom build at a non-premium price, and they do an excellent job. I met them at NAMM earlier in, was it January, February, January, I think, and um, decided on some options and narrowed things down. They helped me a lot. Brandon from Giesel, thank you. You helped me quite a bit to decide on some options. And um, now is the final test. I'm deciding on pickups. I did a previous video similar to this one where I tested, we tested together the pickups in this guitar, which I like a lot. And that's, those are the pickups that I was orig originally going to use in my custom build. And then I wanted to try other things. So I, I tried this, which in the bridge has uh, Greg Howe pickups and in the neck, Frank Gabali pickups. Really love that combination, but decided to compare these with the lithium pickups. That's in the previous video, you can check that out. Who won? Well, I still have this guitar. I sent back the other one. Not that the lithiums were bad. You have to watch the video to see what I thought about them, but they didn't really fit exactly what I was looking for. But now, I am, this is the final test. This guitar has the beryllium pickups, which when I did the original video, everybody said, check out the beryllium's, beryllium's, beryllium. So here it is, beryllium guitars. We're just gonna play. This is not uh, the type of video where, for those of you wondering, I have a very nice carpet here. It's very thick and uh, the guitar is safe. Um, this is not a, hey, this, this pickup is better than the other one, no. They do different things. So we're just gonna play a little bit. And uh, for those of you who complained that in the previous video I just used lead tones, not today, we're gonna use a little bit of everything. So we're gonna start here with uh, this patch. I'm running everything through the same exact sound. This is the Fractal Audio XFX3. I'm gonna start with the neck pickup. I love that pickup. It's kind of darker sounding than you might what you might expect from a, a neck pickup, but I like that. There's a lot of expression. come from those pickups. And uh, you know what, before we try the bridge, let's, uh, let's try the, the neck beryllium pickup. We'll see what happens here. This guitar, oh my, man, this is a, this is a trip. This is kind of weird. I, I can't tell you what color this is. Is it brown or no, oh, hey, it's purple. Or maybe it's um, dark purple. Sometimes it's kind of orange. And now it's gold. I, I don't know. It's a chameleon guitar. I love it. It's concept is kind of cool. Okay, that said, let's try the neck pickup, the beryllium. We're still kind of in dark territory here, which I like again. Very enjoyable to play. It's honestly a toss up for me. This is as enjoyable as the Frangabali pickup. Okay. Well, how about we try the, the bridge? on the beryllium's. And um, we're, we're just varying. This is kind of what I would do if I was uh, testing this guitar for myself. And that's actually what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just filming it. I'm gonna go with my, my typical lead tone. Um, this is going to be the beryllium bridge. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's add some, um, some reverb and some delay to this. <laughs> A lot of sustain. I'm not using a very, very high volume here. Kind of a bedroom volume. It sounds really good. Let's try the this one. Now this is going to be the Greg Howe signature model. Same tone. It has some sustain. Not as much as the other one, in my opinion. The note doesn't last as long as the brilliance. It, it feels that the mids drop off a little bit. Here, here I am using expert language. <laughs> that's my, it might not be true, but that's how I feel. It feels like the mids are kind of dropping off a little bit. The brilliant seems to have that, those mids that kind of sustain throughout. And I like, I like mids uh, more than highs on my guitars. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep playing a little bit. I want to make this, oops, sorry. I really want to make a decision before the end of this video. <laughs> I'm going to play a little more with, uh, with the Greg Howe one. Before we switch guitars, let's try the, the neck with uh, that lead tone. Definitely dark, right? Okay, switch guitars real quick. I like it. It's dark, I know that. I like it. Back to the neck. Sorry, the bridge. About the, the neck, I, I like it quite a bit. The neck. It still does that thing with the long notes, the, the sustain on the mids, keep, the mids stay, don't drop off really fast. Oh, I like that. switch tones let's go back to the cleans you know what I'm gonna use Devin's tone what who's Devin you, Devin's the video editor who is watching this video as he's editing <laughs> he created this tone uh, let's try the Devin ambient okay <laughs> Sounds good, Devin. Oh, neck pickup. Bridge? It sounds good. We need to go back to the to the other combination. I, I'm close. I'm close. Can you tell what I'm going to pick? Okay, this is again Devin's ambient patch. Start the the neck. 
Well, I thought I was. <laughs> I knew what, I, what to pick. But now I'm using this and I like it. How about the bridge? Oh man, I. What, what do you, you know what? I might co not come to a conclusion quite yet. I just got the beryllium pickup guitar today. I, I think I'm gonna play some more with it. My first impression is that um, it was easier for me to decide between this, the Greg Howe slash Frank Gabali, and the lithium. The lithium was just a little too modern and too bright. Um, the beryllium's are really nice. They fit what I like also. And I realize that wood tones and, and all that affects the sound too, but you can still tell. Um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna say something, but I might change tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's close. I think, I think I, I like the Beryllium Bridge quite a bit, but I also like this one too. You know, I might go with the beryllium's. You'll have to wait and see. But I think this is going to be my pick for what I do. Um, the, the sustain, I was very, very surprised with the sustain, especially at low volume in the room. That mid thing that I told you about, I, I really like it with the beryllium's. Um, this is very, very good too. The Greg Howe, uh, Frank Gabali, very defined sound. I, everyone, I don't know. I don't know, you're gonna have to wait and see, but I will make my decision by the end of uh, next week and I will get in touch with, with Kiesel and finish the build. And I can't wait for you to discover what that's going to be. I'm really excited about it. Choice of words and all that. Sorry, my, my stand is in the way. <sighs> Regardless, Kiesel is doing an awesome job. And, and thank you, Kiesel, for watching this, for accommodating my needs and being so gracious, letting me borrow these guitars. Um, yeah, beryllium's are such amazing pickups. All right, this video is uh, already running 15 minutes for a video that is not even a gear review. I hope you enjoyed it, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, well, um, if you're expecting this kind of content, don't subscribe because this is kind of unusual. Usually we do lessons. The channel is really about helping guitar players around the world develop their musical personality. So if you're after that kind of stuff, watch the other videos. Thanks for watching this, thank you Kiesel. Uh, practice well everyone, I'll see you very soon.